I command Five. them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Say good morning, Holy Ghost. Good morning, Holy Ghost. Good morning, Holy Ghost. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. Take over me. Take over me. Take over me. Lead me. Lead me. Lead me. Guide me. Guide me. Guide me. Protect me. Protect me. Protect me. Bring my blessings today. Bring my blessings. Bring my today. blessings today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, In the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us go through the book of Isaiah chapter 40. Let us read from verse number 28. The Bible says that, <clears throat> Don't you know? Have you not heard? The Lord is an everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. His understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and he increases the power of the weak. Even youth grow tired and weary, young men stumble and fall. And the Bible says that, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength, will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. First of all, the Bible says that, don't you know and have you not heard the Lord is an everlasting God? When the Bible talks about the Lord is an everlasting God, that means he's talking about he is an ancient of days, the one without a beginning and the one without an ending. He is an everlasting God. And the Amen. Bible says that he is the creator of heaven and earth. That means he created Amen. everything. He's the source of life. When you see Amen. everything, everything that we see, we need to understand it has been created by God. If, if it was not created by God first, even what men have created could not have created. Then the Bible says that, he will not grow tired or weary. That means it's an almighty God. He does not grow tired. He does not grow weary. And the Bible says that his understanding no one can fathom. His understanding is beyond comprehension. Even if we're talking about, you know, to study creation, to understand what God has created. No. It takes more than a lifetime, more than a life of man to just to understand his creation. And even for the generation ever since the earth has been created, no one has fully understood creation. If everyone has understood creation, for example, they would have been came with also 
a living human being, to create a living human being, other than the normal one. Amen. But because no Amen. one, no one can function his understanding. No one has ever begun to create even any living thing. Any living thing. Like what God have created. Who have you heard that oh someone unless to come up with a with a method to create the method actually to to quicken what God is has formed. But nobody came with the creation other than God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then the Bible says that in verse number 29, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Why? He's the source of all power. He's the source of all power. The Bible says that all power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. Then the Bible says that the way he is so powerful, he gives strength to those who are tired. And he increases the power of those who are weak. He is powerful enough to power us up. Amen. I, I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. The Bible Amen. says that is what? He is powerful enough to power us up. In such a way, the Bible says that. Are you weary? Are you tired? Are you weak? Eh? Then we need to go to God to be powered up. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that even the youth grow tired and weary. Young men stumble and fall. But the Bible says that in verse number 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength and will soar on wings like eagle. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. The Bible is saying that, you know, those who, who hope in the Lord, another vision says that those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Those who go to God to be powered up. Those who go to God to be powered up, the Bible said that will renew their strength. They will be powered up. Okay. If we go to the book of Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says that in the beginning God created heaven and earth. He created heaven and earth. Then the Bible says that. That means if we talk about Genesis chapter 1 verse number 0. In the beginning was God. And God created heaven and earth. That means out of God, heaven and earth was created. And everything that are that are in heaven and everything that is on earth. Then now, when anyone is looking for strength, is looking for power, they must wait upon the Lord. And the Lord will renew their strength. Amen. That means also us in our life, when we are looking for supernatural energy, what we are supposed to do is to wait upon the Lord. Amen. Go to God to look for strength. Amen. And the Lord, the Bible says that will do what? Will renew our strength. Amen. Will power you up Amen. with a supernatural power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In such Amen. a way that the Bible says that they will soar on wings like eagles. 
Your strength will be renewed, renewed, even to reach new heights. Amen. And you will be able to to run and not grow weary, and be able to walk and not be faint, Amen. because God would have powered you up. Amen. And that is the reason why we start a year like this, starting a year in prayer. Starting a year Amen. not just in prayer, starting a year in prayer and fasting because what we are trying to do, we are waiting upon the Lord. Amen. Because a year by itself is like a journey. A year by itself is a journey. You will need strength to run throughout the year supernaturally. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. So Amen. that... At the end of the of the year, you should have triumph. It's not just a matter of going throughout the year, but it's the matter of going throughout the year having triumph. Amen. It's not the matter of just living. Huh? It's not the matter of just being alive. You know, sometimes some people they're just alive, and when they are alive. They go like, we will see how life goes by. And throughout their life, they go through from one challenge to another. But it for you to live a successful life, a victorious life, you can be able to do so when God has supercharged you, have renewed your strength to face every challenge and you come out of it successful. Amen. And you come out victorious than to live a life full of trouble and full of challenges. Losing some people, I will be losing from January to December. And yes, they don't know how to triumph. That in order to triumph, what they are supposed to do is to wait upon the Lord. Amen. And the Lord will renew their strength and he will give them supernatural energy, supernatural strength to soar on wings like eagle, Amen. to run and not grow weary, Amen. to walk and not be faint. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Waiting upon the Lord it enables us that after when we have waited upon the Lord, when we move, you're not going to be moving by yourself. Amen. You will be moving with God. Amen. You will be moving with God with the supernatural power of God. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You know, like, Amen. you will be moving what with the supernatural power of God. God backing you up. Amen. That's what the Bible talks about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ realized that he was supposed to start his ministry. As he wanted to start his ministry, he wanted to make sure that he's going to be successful in his ministry. And in his ministry, he will experience God. One of the things that he did was to wait upon the Lord. When the Bible talks about he went, went to pray and fast for 40 days and 40 nights. He went, uh, he went and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible says that. In the book of Matthew chapter 4. Hallelujah. Amen. Say Amen. fire. Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I am enjoying the word of God. In the book of after 
when he went to pray and fast in the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse number 23, the Bible says that Jesus went throughout Galilee teaching in their synagogue, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, healing every diseases and sicknesses among the people. Then the Bible said that one of the things that he was proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and the Bible says that healing every diseases and sicknesses among the people. You see, he was not a victim, but because he waited upon the Lord and he was supercharged or recharged, he was able now to go around even healing every diseases of among the people. Amen. That in a similar way, when we wait upon the Lord, instead of you being a victim throughout the year, where you are complaining about this, when you are complaining about that, God will give us supernatural energy, Amen. supernatural strength to overcome every problem that you're going to ever meet. Amen. Amen throughout the year. Hallelujah. Amen. So that you can come Amen. out more than a conqueror. Amen. So that you can Amen. come out successful. Amen. So that you Amen. can come out victorious. Amen. Then it is Amen. important for us to wait upon the Lord. Amen. So Amen. that God can renew our strength. God can recharge our strength so that this year there won't be any project that you undertake that you don't come out with it. Because God will be by our side. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I am enjoying the word of God. Then, when we are saying that we are praying and we are fasting, what we are doing, we are waiting upon the Lord. Because Amen. other vision say that those who wait, we are waiting. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you this. Waiting upon the Lord. Nowadays, you know, this can be demonstrated easily. For example, today you are using a cell phone for us to be in this service. As we are using the cell phone to be in this service, our cell phone now and then have to wait in the charger for it to be charged so that it can have power otherwise if it does not if it does not wait energy can get finished and it can get flat then the more it wait on the charger the more it's going to have power until it's full Amen. Then the more we spend time in the presence of God, sometimes spend time studying the word, sometimes spend time praying, sometimes spending time in fasting, the more you will download supernatural strength from God. Amen. Then that means... The time that you spend waiting upon the Lord will determine how recharged are you going to be. Amen. That's how it is. The more you spend time waiting upon the Lord in prayer, the more you spend time waiting upon the Lord in fasting, the more you're going to be recharged. Amen. Then that's why you have to make sure that you spend a quality time in prayer. Mm -hmm. You spend a quality time in fasting. Mm -hmm. For example, you know it. The day that you just put your, 
your phone for five minutes on the charger when it was flat. Ah, that means you're going to use it a little. And very soon, the battery is going to die. We understand it very well even with our cars. We understand it very well even with our cars. The day that you will put more petrol in this full tank, you can go for a long journey. But if you just go there and you put little petrol, the journey that you're going to go for is not that long. You're going to stuck. Then that's why sometimes when you're about to start a year, we make sure that we are fully recharged. And you will see even on the result that you're going to get throughout the year. That ah, this one waited upon the Lord. This one were really waiting. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. The Bible Amen. talks about one day. Jesus Christ was coming out down from the mountain. When he was coming down from the mountain, the Bible says, as he came down from the mountain, there was a father with his son. But there was also his disciples there. And they were trying to cast out a demon. And they realized that they were struggling to cast out this demon. And the Bible said that Jesus Christ, when he arrived there, because there were people who were crowding, and he began to say, Ah, for how long will I spend time with you? And he casted out that demon. The Bible said that that night when they go inside, inside the house, then they begin to say, Jesus, why could, no, could we not cast out that demon? Then the Bible said that Jesus said that uh, that kind of spirit cannot go out except by prayer and fasting. Amen. That means he was saying that you have not waited enough upon the Lord. You were not. Of course, if you are hearing that Jesus Christ was on the mountain, they were not in the mountain. And there was a certain kind of prayer and fasting that they have not attended. That's why there was a certain spirit which they are trying to cast out. And it could not go out. Mm. That's the level of your prayer. And the level of your fasting, the level of your commitment, the level of your waiting will determine the kind of the result that you're going to get. Amen. And it was, is the Amen. time to pray and it's time to fast. They don't play around it because it is as if hey, you, it is as if you are you are playing by the time of you are supposed to take to download or to recharge. Then don't play by the time of you are recharging. Pray well, wait well, fast well, so that throughout the year you will be having a supernatural energy Amen. supernatural power because life is in spirit Amen. life is in spirit life is not on physique life is in, is in spirit Amen. the most spiritual energy you have the more problem that you can be able to solve Amen. The more things that you can be able to achieve Amen. with the supernatural help of God. Amen. Because some and the most problems that people go through are spiritual. Most of their problems are spiritual. That's why you begin to hear uh, a person struggling to get a job. A person sick for such a long time. And after prayer, when that after prayer, that person get healed. Amen. You find someone looking for a job for a long time. After prayer, the demon get casted out and that person get a job. What does it show? Some problems are spiritual. Amen. And if some problems are spiritual, they need spiritual power. Amen. And if you can get loaded by spiritual power, you will cruise in the physical. Amen. But if you are not supernaturally recharged, sometimes you will struggle physically. Amen. 
and struggle unnecessarily. Amen. Then what do you do when it is time to spend time in the presence of God? When it is time to fast, spend time in the presence of God well. Amen. Fast well. Amen. Pray well. Amen. Don't play by the time of praying. Don't play by the time of fasting. Amen. Because some of the people, they make a mistake. When it's time for prayer, it's time for fasting, they don't pray. They don't fast. They wait for trouble for them to begin to fast. You can't do it that way. You can't do this or that way where you, you, you will wait for problems and when you are in deep problems and you are in deep challenges, that's when you are trying to fast. You don't do it that way. Amen. Fast, fast, when you don't have any problem, not under pressure, fast luxuriously. Amen. Then when the day of trouble and the day of challenge, you will speak one word and the problem will be solved. Amen. Because already you are recharged. Amen. There's some people they will wait for the troubles when they when things are now tough and they've tried everything throughout the year now. And now they are tired. They say, Ah, I've heard about this prayer. I've heard that there's fasting. Now they are trying to fast, and now they are fasting in trouble. Have enough energy and enough power to solve every problem throughout the year. That the day that problem comes, you speak one word. Amen. That was the life of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ was the man who knows, who began his ministry by fasting 40 days to make sure that he have got enough energy to cast out any demon. Enough energy to heal any sickness. Enough energy that can take him out of any problem. And he was a man that he knew how to pray. The Bible will talk about he goes to the mountain and spends the whole night. When he sees the blind man, he did not pray for two hours. He did not pray for three hours. He speak a word and the situation change. When he sees... A demon-possessed man, he did not pray for three hours. He spoke a word and the demon disappeared. But it becomes a problem and a challenge to the people who does not wait upon the Lord. Amen. Who does not wait and now just because they are in trouble, that's when they are trying to pray. Amen. And they end up thinking that, oh, it is as if God does not have power. God has got power. The Bible says that. Have you not heard? The Lord is an everlasting God. He is the creator of ends of the earth. And he does not grow tired or weary. And he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. That means he's powerful and he has got power. It's not matter that does he have power. He does have power. He said, are you believing him for power? Are you waiting upon him for power? Are you getting recharged enough? Are you getting recharged enough so that he can give you supernatural energy to deal with every problem in your life? Mm -hmm. I can assure you if you wait upon the Lord, I don't know which program in your life, which project in your life is stuck. He will be able to unstuck it and he will be able to help you with energy to speed it up. Amen. Just that that energy, you will get it when you wait upon the Lord. Amen. Because he renews the strength as we wait upon him. Amen. He renews our strength as we do what? As we wait upon him. Amen. So don't Amen. be lazy to wait upon the Lord. Amen. Don't be lazy to pray. Amen. Don't be lazy to fast. Amen. Don't be lazy to spend time in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Don't be lazy to do so. Do so. When you feel like it or not. Reach the level where whether you feel like praying or not, you pray. Reach the level where you feel like fasting or not, you fast. 
reach a level where you feel like studying the word of God, you study the word of God. You are not determined by your moods. Amen. Grow. Grow out of your feelings. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Grow yourself. Amen. Discipline yourself enough to be beyond your feelings. Amen. If prayer works, I will pray. Amen. If fasting works, I will fast. Amen. You must reach that, that level where you, if prayer works, you will do what? You will pray. Amen. If fasting works, I will do what? I will fast. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 30. The Bible say that in verse number 31, in the King James Version says that, but they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They that wait, they that wait, spend time in prayer. Spend time in fasting. Huh? It's not a drive through fast where you say, I want to fast for one day. I want to fast for two days. I want to fast for three days. This kind of fasting, you wait. Amen. You wait. You spend time. A month. Like for example, we are spending more than a month in this prayer and fasting. Amen. It's not three days fasting. It's not ten days fasting. Even the whole month. Even more than a month in prayer. In fasting. Showing God, you are the source of my strength. Amen. I believe in your power. Amen. So I wait on you now to recharge me. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I believe in you now Amen. to do what? To recharge me. Amen. That's why now, <laughs> that's now where we we, we are waiting until we overflow. We are waiting on him until we do what? We overflow. So that you are, you are really sure I'm recharged. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. After this, you, you're going to be real. You must be really sure I'm recharged. Amen. And when you are recharged, you will be confident enough to say, you job, who are you? You come here now. The job must come now. Amen. You car, who are you? You come now. Amen. Amen. I don't know whether you are here. That's why what you are waiting for is a supernatural power. It's a supernatural power. Amen. That's what you are waiting for. Then because... We are waiting. Wait upon God well. Amen. Pray well. Amen. Force yourself to wait. Amen. Force yourself to pray. Amen. Until that day when you will be walking and you feel like the body now when you are fasting well. I'm not. I'm talking about when you are fasting well and you read that day you feel like ah, do I even have a strength today to do what I'm supposed to do? Say that day you carry your body whether you feel weak. You don't stop because I'm feeling weak. Carry your body even when it's feeling weak too fast. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You feel hungry. Doesn't mean that you must stop. You, you continue even when you are feeling hungry. Amen. That's what fasting is for. Sometimes you begin to see now, it's like it is as if you are losing weight. Uh -huh. That's why it's called fasting. That's why it's called fasting. It doesn't mean that you must stop. We are waiting upon the Lord. Amen. We are waiting upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are waiting upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord and you will not regret it. You will see it throughout the year. You will have been recharged. Amen. 
Amen. You have been re- supercharged with the results. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. With the what? With the Amen. results. Amen. That you are not just moving as a mere man. You're not just moving with a mere man. You are moving with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Then don't fast and pray as if you are praying and fasting for someone else. Pray and fast as if you are praying and fasting something that works for you and something that you need it. Amen. Because that supernatural energy and power, you need it yourself. Amen. The Bible said that Jesus Christ said that cry for yourself and your children. And now, today, I'm saying that as you are praying, pray as if you are crying for yourself and your children. Because this energy also, someone who's going to use it is yourself this year. Amen. Someone who's going to use it is your family this year. Amen. Huh? As a man of God, as a woman of God, you are supposed to be able to say in that family, nobody died this year. Nobody must die this year. And it is so, and the spirit of death comes there. And because you are there and it turns back without doing anything. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. It's that kind of Amen. power that you are praying and fasting for. You, you, you must be able to step top there that even you have to stop sickness this year in that family. Spirit of sickness must come and see that you are there full of energy, full of power with God, and you say, cancer, you don't enter here. And you say, the power of witchcraft, you don't work here, and it must not work. It is not a mere man who do what I'm talking, I'm telling you about. It's a man who is supernatural charged, who do what we are talking about. Amen. It's a man who's supernatural. Then that's why fast well that you have, you have downloaded enough power to do those things as a priest of the house. Amen. As a prophet of your life. Amen. As a prophet Amen. of your family. Amen. Where you will stand in that family where you are and you say that this year you get, you get employed and they must get employed in your family. I don't know whether you are hearing what Amen. I'm saying. Amen. 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 And you can only do that so that the Bible says that so that there must be no problem that you cannot solve this year. Amen. There must be no demon that can stand before you this year. Amen. Because we're doing these things well. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Jesus said that yeah, if you pray well, if you fast well, no demon will be able to stand against you. Amen. Amen. No problem will be able to stand. That's what he said. So that, that one, the one, he said, you disciples, that demons you were struggling because you have not prayed well, you have not fasted well. But if you have fasted very well, that demon was going to come out. So this year, when you have prayed very well, fasted very well, I see no problem, no tokolosh, no witch standing against you very, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You will see the results of the power of God in your life in every horizon in Jesus' name. Amen. You are not Amen. going to be a victim, but you are going to be a victor in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
Can you say my day is blessed? My day is blessed. My family is blessed. My day is blessed. My career is blessed. My family is blessed. Our countries are blessed. Everything is turning around for my good. Everything is turning around for my good. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be broken. Broke in my life. Prosperity is mine. Favor is mine. Say, devil, take off your hands from my everything. Say, I lose angels now. Angels, I lose angels. Bring my harvest. Angels, my miracles. Bring my harvest. My testimonies. My miracles. My jobs. My jobs. My angels. I shall me. Everywhere I go. In everything that I do. Represent me. Everything that I do. Present me. Represent me. In the name of Jesus. Present me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You are my Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Savior. You are my Lord. Wash me with your blood. You are my Savior. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless Forgive me my sins. Protect me from today. Bless me today. With your power. Protect me from today. Of the Holy Spirit. With your power. Say me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. The fellowship of the world. Surely goodness and love. Be with us all. Shall follow me. Surely goodness and love. All the days of my life. Shall follow me. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to say to us this morning, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a successful day in Jesus' name. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day and afternoon and night. Amen. Bye-bye. Amen.